Hello and welcome to a series of short training videos for the creation of broker contracts. In our previous video, we have seen how to create contract A and contract B. In this video, we will walk through the steps required to create contract F which is unified sale contract. Let's get started and log into the broker application. So, what is contract F? As mentioned earlier, contract F is the agreement between the seller and buyer. It may include information regarding mortgage if applicable. Once the creation of contract F is complete, all parties involved will receive an email for the approval process. After all parties have approved the contract, a new step is introduced, the registration trustee documents upload screen. Previously, required set of documents were being submitted at the registration trustee offices to complete the sell procedure. However, with the new process in place, the RT documents will be required to be uploaded through the broker application before proceeding with the transaction at the RT office. To create contract F, visit my contracts page and search for an approved contract A. Click on Create Unified Sales Contract to begin. Contract F cannot be created if there is a pending contract F for the same property. In this screen, there are three options to create the unified sell contract. Option 1 is to create contract F by entering contract B number created by another brokerage office. Option 2 is to select an existing contract be created by you. And option 3 is by directly adding the buyer information by going through the add buyer step without the need for contract B. For this use case, we will use an existing contract B number by the same brokerage office. The property information screen shows the property details from contract A. Most of the information that you see here in the steps of property information, owner information, buyer details tenancy information is fetched from contract A and B. The details mentioned here cannot be modified. Please review the information and click on save and continue to continue. In the financial information step, you will specify sell price for the property, deposit amount, and if the property is going to be mortgaged. The annual service charge is fetched from the contract A screen. Once you have entered the deposit amount, additional information for penalty is shown. Escrow E field shows to which account the amount will be deposited. The penalty for non-compliance of the delivery date from the deposit amount field shows whether the buyer will lose the deposit or it has to be returned to the buyer if the deal did not successfully go through. If the property is going to be mortgaged then please mention the number of loan days to obtain the loan that should not exceed the expiry of the contract. Let's move on to next step. In the payment plan screen now you can add one or more payment information. If the number of payments is zero, you have to make sure the remaining amount to be payment to be paid on the transaction date. You can also add one or more payments and the amount will be deducted from the selling price from the total amount mentioned in the payment plan. If the option of the remaining amount will be paid on the transaction date is chosen as shown, then the sell price amount should match the total amount of the check details specified. Click on save and continue to proceed with the next screen. Now you have to add the contract start date and contract end date and as we already discussed in our previous video that it can be a minimum of one day and a maximum of one year. In the next screen, you will see the seller and buyer broker information and how much commission is agreed in the previous contract A and B. The parties have the option to adjust the commission using the slider shown.
Let's move on, this screen shows the DLD registration fees which is 4% of the sell price, and how much of that fee is going to be paid by either party, seller, and buyer. Again, you can set the percentage using the slider based on the buyer and seller consensus. Next, the approved contract A and B notes are fetched and you can define optional contract F notes. Click save and continue to move on. The next screen is for the additional terms and conditions. To add terms and conditions, click on the add button and input both English and Arabic versions. It's important to ensure that the terms and conditions do not conflict with the rara terms and conditions. Multiple terms and conditions can be added, but they have a character limit. The maximum character limit is 1200. Click save and continue, now the system displays the preview of your contact, you can navigate to the previous steps for any modifications. Once the review has been completed, accept the terms and conditions and submit the contract for approval. In the Trakizi portal, there is an admin approval workflow setting is available. If this is enabled for the broker office, then all contract F submitted will go through an admin approval before contract F is sent out to the seller and buyer. This is an optional step for companies to follow if it is required. Upon successful submission, all the parties will be notified through email. Either of the parties can either approve or reject the contract and it will be sent back to broker for any modifications. Let's go through the approval process from the buyer and the seller. Both parties have approved the contracts and the contract is active. It's time to upload the registration trustee documents. The required set of documents will be dynamic depending upon the property and cell type. Click on view list of required documents to see the document list. Click on proceed to upload the documents. Once documents are uploaded, click on Activate. These documents will be retrieved during the cell procedure at the Registration Trustee Office. This marks the completion of the broker contract journey. Thank you for watching and we wish you all the best.